Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to uninstall programs on your Mac. So you might think this video is a bit strange because the idea of uninstalling apps is not a new concept to anybody. The idea basically is you would drag your app all the way down to the trash bin, delete everything that's in your trash bin, and you think it's good to go. And I wish it was just as simple as that because then I wouldn't have to make this video, but it's not. When you manually delete apps on your Mac through that trash manual way, it actually leaves behind a lot of leftover files in your system files. Then you have to do some programming, do some coding and know where to find those locations of those files, of those folders, and make sure that you don't delete the wrong ones. Because if you delete the wrong ones on your Mac OS, then you screw up your entire device. And that is such a garbage way of uninstalling apps. So the real tip that I have for you is to actually use a program called Clean My Mac X. This program is a suite that serves as an all-in-one platform that could help you uninstall apps, optimize your computer, speed it up, and all that sort of thing. So if you really want to get Clean My Mac X, there's a download link in the description below, and I highly recommend it. So let's jump on into it right now. I'm going to click Command Space, open up Clean My Mac X, and then it'll open up. Look at that beautiful UI. Go down to the application section in the bottom left corner. Go to uninstaller. So now this program is going to make it super easy because I can go through all these apps and click whatever I want to uninstall. So let's uninstall Steam and let's uninstall Project Zomboid. So this is a great example of why manually deleting apps on your Mac is bad. So Project Zomboid is just a game that I bought off of Steam. And if I just drag the icon of Project Zomboid all the way down to my trash bin and just deleted it that would actually leave behind pretty much all of its leftover files in my computer and then i would have to go in and do all the messy things that i mentioned before so now with clean my mac x all i have to do is just check those boxes uninstall it with a big button down here and then all of that will be cleaned out for me and if you already did that manual way of deleting apps don't worry it's not a problem you'll have those leftover files but clean my mac x makes it simple to delete those leftovers so go ahead in the top left corner now to the leftovers and now you can delete anything that was left over and it seems that i have a good handful so i'll be deleting those today clean my mac x makes this process so simple for you so i highly recommend it there's a download link in the description below and you will have zero regrets getting it the next way that you can uninstall install apps is a very similar way that you can do it through your iPhone or any iOS device. If you have a MacBook, you could do a gesture with all five fingers pinching in forward, or you could click command space, open up Launchpad, and then you'll have all your icons pulled up. Say for example, I want to delete the numbers app. I just hold down on it until it jiggles like this, and then there's an X icon. I'm going to go ahead and click that and then click delete. You see, this is a very similar way of deleting apps off of iOS devices, but this still poses the same problem as manually deleting apps of the trash bin. You still have to go through those leftover files in your system caches. So if you want, you could use Clean My Mac X and then delete those leftover files, but I'd rather just do it straight from the uninstalling app suite. The last way that you can uninstall apps completely is through a native uninstaller. Now, this is more of a Windows thing, but some apps on macOS do have a native uninstaller, especially Adobe products. So I'm going to go to Finder. I'm going to go to the Applications folder, and then I'm going to click on any one of these folders that represent an Adobe product like Photoshop, Lightroom, or Premiere. I'm going to go to Premiere, and right here you can see Uninstall Premiere Pro 2022. This thing will run a complete program that will delete all the leftover files all the caches all the memory that comes with adobe premiere it'll wipe it clean from my system so i don't have to worry about anything and it'll save up a lot of space all right so here's a bonus tip for you and this is through clean my mac x so say for example you have an app that you want to delete and then reinstall because it's misbehaving that could take up a lot of time and it does sound kind of annoying through Clean My Mac X, you can actually reset the app and it'll do that whole entire process for you to reset the user preferences or all the cache files. So go to Clean My Mac X, go to the uninstaller and check any one of the apps that you want to reset, kind of like how you would if you wanted to uninstall it. So let's do Spotify, for example. I'm going to check it and then you see the this uninstall tab. I'm going to click it and then go to reset. And now I could click on reset and it'll 
uninstall it and then reinstall it and clean out all the preferences so that it's brand new and not misbehaving anymore sometimes we do run into this problem and we have to go through the arduous process of doing that whole thing but clean my mac x makes it very easy for you and that's all i have for you guys in this video make sure you subscribe for more videos like this video and comment down below on other ways that you would go about uninstalling or cleaning your mac os device i would love to know